Hello everyone, everywhere, whoever was or will be, I am Red Runner, and today I'm joined by Bowser and the new face Skyfire. Hi, I'm the Never copper my Yeah, hi, I'm 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 Sky, I'm the I'm the dude who doesn't shut up about Sheeran versus Charizard. You know, Tempest Blitz, go listen to that song. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm here okay, I'm here solely because uh Baritone Gang. Baritone Gang. Oh, We're in hello. the track, by the way. I was yeah. thinking of mentioning it in at the end of the last reaction, but I wasn't sure if I was allowed to or not. But I'm credited not. now, so. Hmm. Oh, hi, and, well, hello, I'm Bowser the Second. You may have seen me before. He's Elder Scrolls man. Yes, I am. I am Skyrim guy. And our Dark Souls guy is out. Don't know where he is. I think he's dead. But we'll uh, get back to you on that. Okay, so. This is an interesting matchup that I don't feel like we even have time to go into a good amount of stuff before the episode. Uh, yeah, like I was in the I was in the G1 blog for this one. I it, it may may just be the longest blog in G1 history. <laughs> yeah. What was it's it like, like 300 th pages? 300 pages. Wow. Bro. And, all yeah. I know is that one of them scream, one of them British or something. <laughs> what? I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't. I, British. I, there's really, there's no joke I can make about the chosen undead. Like, one's no legend. I, well, I know he's from a different game, but I'm pretty sure he is still maidenless. Yeah, um, but yeah, but yeah, but anyway, anyway, the blog was surprisingly close, albeit it was still in the Dragonborn's favor. Yeah. Like, I'm just saying, you can make arguments for Chosen Undead winning. Like, it wouldn't be completely outlandish if that were yeah. to happen. Yeah, but in my opinion, I think the Dragonborn takes it. Like, he just has he just has a lot he just has a lot more going for him. Like, you know, way better speed, like like more versatile enchantments, like just and I... you know, ha and, you know, has ways to circumvent the revives. Which, by the way, is probably the biggest deal for the Chosen Undead in this entire thing. Yeah. The fact that they can just keep coming back. I was yeah. think I was a uh, my my I had like an entire discussion with myself, thinking, how are they gonna do the revives thing? If they don't do it, Chosen Undead gets wiped. If they do it, it depends because if the Chosen Undead keeps like his, if his stats keep lowering each time he revives, they could do a thing where the where the Dragonborn, like, whittles down his arsenal and finally is able to kill him. If his stats don't get lowered, then I feel like the Chosen Undead could have this. I don't know if there's any sort of stat-lowering aspect to it, but either way, yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm, fight, the fight has been set at a bonfire, I do just want to remind, yeah. so they're definitely I, going to bring it in. The yeah, stat-lowering yeah, stat is a thing, and, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I get loud, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. Uh, you're not loud. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's like the thing in Dark Souls is that, like, like every time you die, you lose souls that you absorbed, and souls are. And your max health also gets lowered by like a fuck ton. Yeah, every and, time but you is die. that every time or just the yes, first? Yes, every time? every every time until you get your uh, your main souls back. Like if you're un uh. if you're unable to get to your if you're unable to get to where you died and you die again, you lose all of that and and more max health. Gotcha. It's, okay. I thought you just lost scary. the souls. I thought that the souls were kind of like currency. I've never played yeah. Dark Souls. I've played a decent amount of... I, oh yeah, you weren't here when I mentioned it. Uh, I, I, I've I only played like up to the first boss in Dark Souls 2, but Dark Souls 3 <laughs> I was able to get like a third of the way through. Okay. So, yeah. Hmm. Well, if, the, if they do the stat lowering, then Chosen Undead is most likely fucked. <laughs> well... Even though it's only health. It's not up to us. It's up to these guys, and we might get it right, we might get it wrong. I don't know, but either way, let's start our show. This episode of Death Metal is sponsored by Brandon Yates. Brandon Yates! Brandon Yates jump scare. Brandon Yates jump scare. Let's go! I do wonder about what that means that's sponsored by him. Probably because he, like, from Dark Souls. I don't know. Dragonborn, I don't know. The dragon slaying savior of Skyrim. He, he does like half of the OST for the show when he's the spot. I guess it's because he made the vampire track. It might be that. 
because it's these most likely that because that's the only way that probably that I maybe it's the only legal way that they could they could write they that off and maxing out all of their stats and yeah we already knew that possible in game if you're willing to grind he's whiz and i'm boomstick okay and it's our job to analyze their weapons armor weapons, and armor skills, skills to find out who will win a death battle, death battle. and yeah, I don't Our think we actually said in the recording, but I hate the fact that they changed the, the title. The cities of old have collapsed. The heroes are dead or mad, and the golden age is over. Looking out upon their decaying kingdom, everyone would like nothing more than to lay down and die. Too bad for them. Pretty that morbid series. They couldn't do. Just the generally. Has been gripped by the undead curse, turning anyone with the mysterious dark sign into mindless, violent hollows upon repeated soul-crushing deaths. But Yo, this should sound like medieval on the PS1. Of a chosen undead who will journey to Lordran, the home of the gods, and save the world. Rotting away in an asylum. That was a, a transition. Neat transition. Simple, but neat. That's his basilisk easy mode. Claw their way through their progenitor's <laughs> forgotten homeland. And it helps that as long as they can keep their sense of purpose, an undead will always resurrect at the nearest bonfire. Now they might slowly lose their memories, their personality, and their sanity, but the curse gives them as much time as they need to get good. <laughs> Undead are unnaturally resilient. Able to yeah, I think being I think the editing and just the references in this episode are going to be really good. Yeah, from the previews alone, I absolutely love the analysis so far. Undead humans don't need their souls to survive. Just pop some of that spicy sunny tea, and they're good to go. If anything, it seems like they hollow forms. Yep. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Souls of their fallen enemies to increase their power. They're a master with swords, hammers, spears, axes, bows, you name it. And that's without any formal training. With the right stats and setup, they can be anything from a cartwheeling assassin to a dragon smashing tank. To the I love how this also feels like, despite in a way, education on series, Dark Souls uh, mechanics. Yeah. The phrasing they use. Great hammer is a ginormous I feel like that'll just be generally speaking. Based on its size and likely bronze composition, it like, it is Dark Souls time. versus Skyrim like for a reason. I yeah. hope. <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> dragon. Sword, yeah. First yeah. dragon the fatality. Dragon and founder of sorcery, see the scaleless. This baby's a universe hopping anomaly that can probably kill that one as well. Beams and just, <laughs> God, just looks also, so is that, cool. is that sword named Sir Gideon? Magic from the greatest practitioners in the is world. it? They can create shockwaves, form defensive barriers, I think it was. damage, throw balls of flame, control minds. So the only guy I know that knows Elder Scrolls. <laughs> invisible. No, dragon. Invisible. <laughs> Stone scales Invisibility and control minds. So their pool of magic is pretty Ammo. limited. So if it comes down that to it, true. they can shut off all magic in the vicinity with the miracle vow of silence, preventing anyone oh, from speaking that's gonna be good. any spells yes. aloud, including themselves. With this incredible arsenal and judicious attention paid to the stamina bar, no. the <laughs> dead was rolling their way to victory. So <laughs> How many dragons dragon? do you think are gonna die here? I didn't think there was gonna be this many. <laughs> oh God. Like God damn it. <laughs> That's just that, that's a subjectively funny mechanic, but great to use when you're panicking. They've defeated the bed of chaos, the mother of all demon kind, and Calamite, the strongest surviving ancient dragon. I'm just curious. The chosen undead was dragon. You are here, Bowser, right? You're very silent. Artorius, the greatest warrior in history. And Bowser? not only defeat, ba but accomplish the Bowser's greatest Bowser's feat attributed Bowser's to Artorius' yeah, legend. <laughs> the destruction of Manus, the father of the abyss that threatened to consume the world. They've even beaten other chosen undead from alternate worlds. Like no sun or stars okay. left shining. Solaire, brave hmm. sun, bro. And soon they were approached by these two slithery freaks. That One said to link That's an interesting the black box to have. Out, which totally makes sense. Let's get explain it. Don't look at me. Dark Souls lore is as notoriously convoluted as the flow of its time stream, which is why we have a true expert in the realms of Nerd oh to explain it for Who us. Who is it? Oh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Yeah. <sighs> Yay! How many item descriptions, Hello. forum posts, and moody 2013 lore videos I had to watch through for this? It's story time, <laughs> that's, that's good. In the beginning, the world was unformed and static. Then suddenly, the first flame burst to life. And with it, the concepts of heat and cold, life and death, energy and time, light and dark. 
Sounds Repair like states light band. is time. The gods were granted immensely powerful souls hmm. from the first flame, but their greatest fear was the soul possessed collectively by the race known as humanity, the dark soul. I just like the implication that Jocelyn had to watch Game Theory for this. So yes. Their dark souls within them. But as humanity or the equivalent the of Game Theory. Collectively grew and the first game Theory. Flame Math waned. Hats canon. Turns out humans <laughs> were naturally undying, or according to the gods' propaganda, undead. Yes, <laughs> it's all a conspiracy. The undead curse was a lie. Linking the fire means using your very soul as fuel to keep the first flame burning. If an undead champion believes their immortality is a curse, they'll do anything to prevent it, including burning fragments of the dark soul to keep the age of the gods going. So <laughs> you're a pawn in a game played by decrepit gods desperately clinging to power. Well, that's a huge bummer. They might look like a depressed California raisin, but in order to live the flame, their that's soul true. needs to be strong enough to maintain the, the first flame's direct control over fundamental aspects of reality, like energy, light, and time, years. combined Other with individual soul. Across time are Universe to level like energy source. Yep. Based on their dodge compared to this beam and the time Pretty good. Them, they'd be Our first count of the season. Over twenty percent the speed of light. That's already the slower the than uh, Skyrim, though. Yeah, that's already that. slower than the Dragonborn. Long hollow. From linking the flame Not to mention, I think they might actually say so, that that um, you Skyrim feat is more age, impressive, considering only the end of the preview this corrects the, biggest the phrasing. Truth is, Yo, never Sif. The cycle just continues <laughs> age after age with new heroes and the old ones uh, until the chosen undead was long yeah, my forgotten. Email. The infinite march of time ground the I don't think you guys see that, but I do. It was not on your screen. It didn't exist. Don't gaslight me, Red Runner. It's on the OBS screen. <laughs> gives us meaning. <laughs> that, that's that, that, that was actually that was a pretty cool choice, Tony. Brandon. Hi Brandon. Hi Brandon. Hi Brandon. The thrilling world of versus. He said that's right. Listen to that track. As he brings hypothetical matchups to life through his commissioned compositions. Brandon, <laughs> one of the composers behind Death Battle, bringing us the incredible show. Okay, but the fact that they're like love, shouting him out and act actively guys. telling people like go commission him, pride, hedge of like tomorrow, based as hell. Greats. In fact, he composed the track for this very episode. We'd love it if you supported Brandon's work and enjoyed more of his music by subscribing to his channel and following him on Thank Spotify. You. Ever had a matchup? I don't know why it took him this long to start just wish start shouting out Brandon. Well, because well, sponsored by means he paid for this ad spot. Fans like you. Yeah. We're talking hundreds of commissioned songs. All for hypothetical episodes of Death Battle. Although this is a very powerful ad spot to have he's given his audience. He's standing for Tempest Blitz, damn it. One of the main composers <laughs> of this show. Every track I didn't see my commission. Out of Death Battle itself. But but yeah, this is a very powerful ad spot to have, considering the fact that, you know, this is his audience. I almost had okay. Shira versus Charizard. Okay, Skyrim time. You're finally awake. Welcome to the frosty Viking paradise of Skyrim. Visit the quaint Nordic villages. Hike up to the throat of the world. Marvel at the beauty of Blackreach. Hey, what's that in the sky? <laughs> Wait, much I love man, this. Randy I Sam. love that this, that this was brought back as a reference. He's <laughs> playing in the mod. Yeah. <laughs> that is a dragon. This is Alduin, the world eater. <laughs> And he's come to burn everything to a cinder. But fortunately for you, his path of destruction happened to interrupt your impending execution at the hands of those. Can't wait for Jocelyn to explain Elder Scrolls lore. That'll be the worst mistake this daily monster Yeah, they're gonna get dumb. They're gonna get dumb to do it. Before you escape the destruction of Helgen and defeated a dragon. I don't know if it'll follow the format of last season, but last season they like associated one character with a matchup. Being born with the blood and soul of a dragon. Specifically, they. I think specifically they had episode two. It was also the finale. The Vegeta vs. Gogeta. Dummy was Magnia vs. Tetsuo. Also blessed by Todd Howard. Blessed by Todd Howard. That's what your mom, Todd Howard. I don't know. It, uh, yeah, Skyrim is a little bit. Go, not the Nightingales. <laughs> Can I just say, like, the, the little edit where they have the thing disappear? I'm so glad they put, like, an editing and editing meme like that in. I love, I love that kind of humor, and I, I hope they do more stuff like that. Also this. What else could I expect from a monster who steals from I love the fact that that actually works. 
They can put their skills to good use with an absolute uh, amount of weaponry. That. Not just the usuals like daggers, swords, hammers, and... Anyone knows that they used a mod where uh, the, dro or the undead Draugr had a... Uh, had a boob slip. I, I didn't, uh, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, it does. <laughs> Wabajack. What about integrating them to healing them to turning him into a chicken? From Meridia, they were what, what does the <laughs> what does the chosen undead do against undead that? Ash. Tell me. That's similar Doesn't to he resist it? Which has his like uh, arrows, they can I think he has resistance against that kind of thing. I was mostly just joking, but cool. Seconds, the oh, arrow would sorry. Have to move <laughs> over 250 times the speed of light. Except this isn't Earth and the Sun. This is the planet Nern, and that's Magnus. According to the Elder Scrolls lore master Michael Kirkbride and his in-universe text cosmology, <laughs> when you look up there at the Sun, you're actually looking into a dimension of pure magic. I can hear someone. I can hear a skinwalker knocking on someone's door. Yeah, that's Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's trying to get into your home, dude. Someone's breaking in. But no. Um, I feel like they might, in the post-analysis, say that that arrow feat is so much more impressive because it's an entire magical dimension. I don't know. There we go. By mm. speaking the words of the dragon language, they can manifest their will <laughs> into reality. The like the classic <laughs> right oh, my favorite is freezing someone. I I wonder if they'll have a clip of it. Freezing someone and then launching them. Oh, so. Okay, so they're gonna use this as like a major thing. Student loans, man. Something. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. What? I didn't. He I sold understand. his soul. Spanning storms. Slow down. Oh. All right. Dragons may look like scaly reptiles, but in reality, they're even more good. Good cutaway, Dad. Older than time itself. They're the children of the chief god of Tamriel's pantheon. The dragonborn is an unstoppable force of nature. If they well, be real, if, if the animation is like somehow mid, the analysis is gonna carry this episode. She's <laughs> like, like I'm just like, one of my home. Favorite. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorite analysis segments <laughs> in all of Death Battle. Large cheese that, oh my god, they're coming. Wait, no, what? What are they doing? Wait, cheese cow! What are they doing? <laughs> it's like the Minecraft cow! <laughs> Considering they can match muscles with giants who are so strong they can shatter the game's spaghetti coat to pieces. <laughs> 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 battled the vampire Lord Harkon. Oh, I love it. The Fiat Alduin, Ebony Warrior, Potema, and Mira. According to the book, the Guardian and the Traitor, Mirak was powerful enough to tear apart the island of Solstheim from Skyrim's mainland. By comparing the size of various countries on Tamriel's map, we can determine that Solstheim is a land. I didn't realize that prior to the DLC, we didn't know if Mirak existed. That much land over the course of their fight, Mirak's magical prowess must have output an energy over three hundred teratons. Bro, they've given this dude three counts. Okay, hold on, three hundred teratons. What? What was the equivalent for uh, Dark Souls? Uh, I don't think they put. They didn't give one. They only gave the speed feed. They didn't give any of their counts. I mean, other than like the universal source of energy, I guess. But that's not exactly a direct feat. By absorbing the souls in Skyrim's afterlife, Alduin was powerful enough to devour everything. Not just the planet, but the Kalpa. The entire timeline, past, present, and future. Oh God! The level of unimaginable Yay. power the Dragonborn is dealing with here. Tamriel is no stranger to great heroes across its vast, sprawling history. The Narrow is a hero of Kavach, all magnificent in their own right. But when you heard that <laughs> shout echo through the mountains and the death throes of a dragon defeated, you no! knew it could only be <laughs> the Dovahkiin. 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 <laughs> I am kind of feeling. I am kind of feeling Dragonborn. Did you know that I can blow yeah, up a I think so. What? How? I think. I think this is relatively close, but <laughs> the main thing I'm thinking about is that <laughs> is like the whole mana. Thing. Okay, Wizards cannot. Wait, wait Boomstick is cannot like Galaxy level now. I, I'm just like thinking of like the fact that uh, the Dovahkiin, his magic is always regenerating. Yeah. And I feel like the the one thing, the, the thing that can just negate all magic, the Chosen the Dead might not even be able to pull it off because they might be like trying to waste all of their magic trying to. Deal with uh, sure the dragonborn. What are you waiting for? So, Join now. I'm, I'm betting. I'm still rooting for the undead. 
because I like Dark Souls more, but I'm I'm betting on a Dragon. Yeah, Soul. I'm thinking Dragon more wins. Unfortunate Dark Souls L. <laughs> okay. Also, yeah, we're in this. We're barely okay. audible. Oh, I'm not audible. Come on, whatsoever. Dragonborn, go. You got this. Okay. And okay. that's where the preview ends. Yeah. Use an alteration spell. Nice touch. Okay, that's Oreo's bow. Why does it got such a bad texture? Oh, you got an arrow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> 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 okay, mine. Oh, you slowed down time. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I'm not, I don't know why Oh, he took his soul. Awesome. Oh wait, he can't oh, take well, he took a soul, I guess. Yeah. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that one? Oh. Oh, he's oh, shit. Dragon. <laughs> there is a dragon. Yay! <laughs> I am <don't laughs> mean. All the thing, the cinnamon roll. Oh, I don't yeah. know why, but that's just funny. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, shit. Why? Oh, I thought he killed it. I thought the Dragonborn killed it. Oh, he summoned the, oh, he summoned the storm. That is so I cool! Know, I, don't, I don't know why that <laughs> running away. I love this, though. Oh, that's like a good shot. Oh, the, oh, the great sword. Okay. Is this gonna be a final clash? Dawn break! Here we go. Oh, nice. Here we go. Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, the sound. Do you do it? Dark be cast upon the world. Our Lord hath returned. <laughs> Wait, draw? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think the Dovahkiin one. <laughs> Wider variety of trains, <laughs> yeah. summons, and magic that passively regenerate, as opposed to the chosen yep. undead's limited pool of magic. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> that, <laughs> ending, <laughs> that ending was a little bit confusing, but I, I get a what they were bit, going but, uh, for. I get what they were I, going I, for. I, I, I kind of liked it though. I liked it. It almost seemed like it almost seemed like he died at the end. <laughs> like I could tell that the chosen dead died. Oh no, I meant the dragonborn. Yeah, yeah, I just wasn't sure if it was like a draw or not. Really the same and as I, I kind of like Skyrim. that. Skyrim undead are more like those classic reanimated skeletons. But remember the conspiracy. Humans and Dark Souls are naturally immortal. They're not actually undead. Yeah. Solitaire wouldn't have been much use either, considering humans and Dark Souls can have their souls removed without dying. So why didn't the chosen undead just keep coming back until they eventually won? Like with any Dark Souls bus. One word. <laughs> 
power. The Dragonborn had way more and greater feats of raw power yeah. than the Chosen Undead. Oh yeah, like summoning countries spanning storms with a single ship. Okay, yeah, yeah, that one. Mirek, who's played a continent. There's also the lore. Both characters the are the lore. The lore. Or Sun Kong. Gameplay alone won't give you the best idea of their full power as characters. So let's get an idea of their max potential from the Lord. The chosen oh, of boy. sustaining the first flame with their soul was insanely impressive. Considering the first flame is responsible for the core concepts of the universe, like energy and time, it's not a stretch to say it affects not just the planet they live on, but the whole universe. But that's nothing compared to the power levels in the Elder Scrolls. Let's compare mm. the first flame oh, boy. to Alduin. <laughs> Both literally run on the power of souls, and both can be directly scaled to our combatants. Alduin had strength to consume the universe, not Dragon. just Nern, but the Kalpa as well. You know those planets you see in the sky? According to cosmology, no. those are actually separate, infinitely big planes of reality. <laughs> oh no. Infinity, multiple infinities. In comparison, the first flame is powerful. Okay, so they actually did go for the infinitely more powerful. <laughs> to begin with and that meant the chosen undead just wasn't powerful enough no matter how many times they revive with that much of a difference in power the chosen undead would eventually lose their will to fight and go hollow it's not traditional but it is a form of death in dark souls the chosen undead mm. was surely tenacity personified but still i do like wasn't the one line that was a Dragonborn's that was such a cool fight that was really overwhelming good. power that yeah, that was cool. Could only last so long before they flamed out. <laughs> the wind is going to be like, oh, shit was janky as fuck. Oh, oh, right. By the way, by the way, they actually did mention that the next time got hinted at many times, apparently. Okay. But no one guessed. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Extra content. Okay. Planet level members even see death battles before anyone else, so don't miss out. Okay. Kill, kill oh, and oh, sorry, what? What? Uh, Oh, it's... See, I, I, I'm fine with this. Not That's what I was certain... expecting, definitely, but... Why, are, why is the text so tiny? Um, wait, for Bruce! What was it a certain medical in there? Uh, didn't mean to start a shape for ill of the... Uh, um, I, 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 but, wait. But yeah, wait. Uh, why is the text so small? I have no clue. But, like, why didn't they show the characters? What like, do you mean? Why didn't they show the franchises they were from? Yeah, like, I... I know, oh yeah, I they know probably should have, huh? I know Kilia is from Monster, is a, or from Hunter x Hunter, but who is, the fuck is Misaki? So Wait, I you guess... don't know, you don't know that? That's Scientific Railgun. Oh. Yeah, oh, I don't know, okay. I, I have no I idea. I know it was a certain something. I, yeah, I a certain Scientific know. Railgun, the same place where Accelerator's from. If yeah. the anime does not have furry in it, I do not watch it. <laughs> But yeah, I know her. I know her biggest thing. Uh, she she flicks a coin really fast that it becomes a railgun. Oh. No. Oh, cool. Anyway, so, um. Like, uh, okay, so last I checked, uh, Misaka wins. I think so. Hunter Hunter for some reason does not have a great win loss record, but uh, I th I'm think she to, wins. I'm trying to figure out how this like which thing on the cipher this is. If it's the one. In the oh yeah, the number. cipher. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. No one understands either. how the cipher works. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Sorry. What were you saying? Uh, he said that he wonders which one on the cipher this is. I'm gonna stop streaming now. Okay. Um. Okay. Anyway. Which, which one might it be? Um. I nev. I never have the cipher on hand, so I don't actually know I... exactly. Okay. I have it on hand to find it. Okay, anyway, what did we think of the episode? Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I loved it. It was pretty good. Like, yeah, I think was, it's a solid contender for I mean, obviously a, we haven't seen much of the season yet, but that was a that was fucking awesome. I loved it. I think it's a likely contender for a top spot. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm also so glad that this that this whole Dark Souls versus Skyrim debate is over. <laughs> like, I like, have no idea how hard I've been advocating for Dragonborn. And unfortunately, it unfortunate that Dark Souls Man was not here for it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. On the thing, on the cipher, what might it uh, represent? Um, I have the image now. 
does the shuffle icon work for it? I don't know that much about these characters, unfortunately. I I do not think that I do not think that would fit. Oh, like, I, like I, I know they're, right, they're both right, like right, assassin could, types, aren't they? Right. I could have sworn you watched a certain scientific railgun. I I thought I have not. No. Well, either way, either way, uh, I'm not like exceptionally hyped for this one, but at the same time, I think it's pretty cool because. Um, People finally, people can finally shut up. Wait, hold on. Kilio matchups. Wait, hold on. Are, is this two new franchises? We haven't had Hunter Hunter before, have we? We have not. So yeah, this is two so new franchises new as well. That's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty fun. Um, yeah. Not much to say. It again, it's neat that um, that the matchup is happening because I know it's requested. Pretty sure Miseko wins. It's anime, so it's not. Yeah, last I checked. It's not Digimon or Legends, so I have no attachment to it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I am. I am not in any way attached to Hunter Hunter or a certain penis extractor, whatever. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> a certain penis extractor. <laughs> also, okay. what is that? It is. It is that anime that Misko's from, the, the one with the really, really long, weird name that I can never remember. You think that's a long, weird name? Yes. There, are, there is that time I got reincarnated as a slime. That time I got reincarnated as a slime, so I'm a spider, so what? Um, I'm sure I could go on. <laughs> what? A lot of it, a lot of niche well, anime shorter. seem to have, like, some sort of weird, weird, <laughs> weird fucking name. It's an anime thing, I guess. And we Apparently. are not allowed to question it. They, it. It's funny. That's the reason. Because people laugh at it when they see it as a title. Um, oh, it, it, my... Uh, what was what it specific call? It's... <clears throat> um, the series that Maple is from. Um, I don't want to take damage. I don't want to get hurt, so I maxed out my defense. Bruh. That's the name of the series. I was gonna say Maple Story. <laughs> I don't even know Maple Story either. I am. My nerd knowledge is minimal. Well, yeah, that was fun. Uh, next time, I'm not quite as hyped for, but like, I have literally no problems with it. It's just I don't know them. I think it's cool that it's happening. But yeah, if you guys like this video, you can like. If you didn't dislike, but either way. We'll see all of you in the next video. Comment Skyrim sweep. Yeah. Don't know where he is. I think he's dead, but we'll uh, get back to you on that. He really was slaughtered. <laughs> there we go. I'm uh, for three. Also, I like the I like the soul count there. If he had twenty more, it would be boobs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, funny.